The gift registry for Ottawa City Councillors is not the most important issue facing our city. I get that. I really do. But I still can't understand why Council had to raise the disclosure threshold from $30 to $100 when the registry was working perfectly. Even the Integrity Commissioner said so. Robert Marlowe told the freshly sworn in Council this week that gift giving is way down. In the last half of 2013, a total of 20 gifts were disclosed by the entire 24 member council. In the first six months of this year, a mere 12 gifts. That's an average of a half gift per council member. So why then did Integrity Commissioner Marlowe recommend that the disclosure threshold be raised? His official reason was that the $30 cutoff was capturing too many trinket-like gifts. But that doesn't make any sense. If the number of gifts are down, then how can the $30 disclosure threshold be capturing too many gifts? Marlowe can't have it both ways. But here's a theory. Maybe one reason that the number of gifts on the registry is down is because counselor didn't accept certain gifts that they were worried about how the public might perceive them. Maybe an expensive lunch or a golf tournament or a fancy gift basket. That means that the gift registry was working exactly as it was supposed to, just not the way many councillors wanted it to. I'm a big fan of the so-called integrity package the council passed last term. The new policy included measures like the lobbyist registry, posting expenses online, and this gift registry for councillors. Very progressive. But now, this council has taken a big leap backwards. For The Ottawa Citizen, I'm Joanne Chianello.